going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers in this video here today just reflecting on jeepers creepers 4 and kind of thinking about what could have been going off of some new fun comments that sean michael argo disclosed with me directly and gave me permission to actually talk about them here on my channel here so regarding jeepers creepers 4 we know that it revolved around the characters of chase and lane going to the horror hound event in louisiana the creepers there lane is pregnant as we find out during the movie and the creeper and its cult have something in mind related to whatever they want from lane's baby and of course they're all tricked into getting to this house there's a few other characters that are really irrelevant as far as the overall grand scheme of things and the movie was pretty bad for the most part and that's how it's perceived by many people myself included they're longtime fans of the franchise but Sean Michael Argo actually shared again some very interesting comments regarding what he actually would have done if it were entirely up to him regarding Jeepers Creepers 4 and I guess you could apply this to a Jeepers Creepers 5 if he's actually brought back on to do Jeepers Creepers 5 so here's the thing he stated to me that there was already a plan for Jeepers Creepers 4 when he was brought on so he took their core idea and I guess those the the theirs those people would have to be the higher ups, the producers like your Jake Seals, Michael O'Hovins, and you know, the people funding the project. Um, so when he was brought in to write it, there was already a core idea and he just crafted it into the final script that he turned in. And then from there, Timo took his pass to create the shooting draft. And then here's what he had to say about what he would have done. He said, if it was me and I didn't have any strict orders from producers or distribution companies, I would write a film that is the final showdown between Trish and the Creeper. And I would present it as her being this sort of anointed Avenger that finally puts an end to the Creeper and its life cycle. But that's just me as an artist, because I would absolutely make that film and it would be the last Creeper film to ever get made. Now. You can keep on reading that if you want to. My thoughts on this are, that's very nice to know. And what I mean is having context as to how we actually ended up getting the script that we got and knowing that this isn't really truthfully according to him. Sean Michael Argo isn't really, this isn't really what he wanted to do for a fourth Jeepers Creepers movie. This was the idea presented to him and he was contracted to flesh out the idea that they already had in mind. So here's what I understand or what I would now need to assume. Going into Jeepers Creepers 4, there was a clear agenda to continue to profit off an IP that was started by Victor Salva but pivot away from any and all resemblances of his past movies that included the creeper makeup that included past characters but the detriment there is you made something far inferior yes we can continue to acknowledge that what he did is terrible that was very terrible but at the end of the day from a creative standpoint creatively you guys are far worse you're far worse and if Sean Michael Argo genuinely wanted to do a story that is kind of in line with the cathedral story I would have loved to see how that would have played out but it all came down to the higher-ups they were the ones who had an idea in mind and he just fleshed it out according to him he didn't actually want to tell this story regarding I guess the horror hound event and you know separating it from victor's movies all together this was more so something that seems to have been a higher up decision which i get you wanted to shun victor salva but you did it in such a way that may have gone a bit too far you aren't even retaining the the, the original preferred look of the character your story as a result of what sean was contracted to do is far inferior and there really just was no overall care in terms of quality, I would say. It seems as though the biggest thing here was to shun Victor Salva and profit off an IP he he is uh, the creator of, but don't even bother to make anything quality-wise that even lives up to what he has done. You just wanted to shun him, profit off of it, quality be damned. Because these new bits of info regarding how he would prefer to do a story with Trish, that just brought a smile to my face. Because you easily could have done a story with Trisha, get Gina Phyllis back, get Jonathan Breck back, get the people who actually own the real trucks back involved and not build your own truck. Shoot on real locations, don't use a bunch of green screen, shoot a decent movie for maybe five, six million dollars, and that'll be the end of it. And I like how his intent, if he were to do it, and if it were all up to him, would have been to end the franchise with Trish as this anointed Avenger. 
I think that would have been a cool thing, very much in line with the Cathedral script. And it's unfortunate that he didn't get to do that because that's just not sim that's simply just not what the higher ups had in mind. They had no interest in continuing the story is what I understand from that. But Sean Michael Argo, if it were entirely up to him, he is claiming he would have finished Trisha's story. This probably would have been the final Jeepers Creepers movie ever made if it were all up to him. You can still do this in Jeepers Creepers 5. You can completely disregard Jeepers Creepers 4. But the thing about it is the higher ups that are responsible for the creative decisions that had to be made due to the contracts, they need to be gone. They are a problem. You, again, you have the Michael O'Hoven situation. I believe from what I've been told and from other trusted people, he's the one who has the rights to produce these movies. But Jake Seal is someone who I think he really needs to be completely removed. This lawsuit with Myriad Pictures is still ongoing, so we have to see how that plays out. But there's some things that need to get in place before you can actually decide to go out and make another Jeepers Creepers movie. Because under this current regime, I think we're going to just get trash after trash after trash. But I would love to see what Sean can actually do with a story he actually wants to tell. Because it sounds like, again, from him... His preferred story to tell would be concluding what fans have been wanting, a story regarding the character of Trisha Jenner. Uh, and it would just be nice to see Gina Phillips back in that role. It, I mean, it really would. But that information, knowing that there was a concept already in mind from the higher ups and he was just contracted to flesh it out. That's very eye opening. It makes me a little bit more reluctant to say, OK, Maybe Sean shouldn't come back. Sean can come back, I would say, under the right circumstances and if he's able to do the story that he wants to tell. And if it's something that, of course, the producers that are on, on board with the project agree with, then so be it. But this concept here that he had to write because they wanted it to be completely dis disconnected from Salva's films, that was terrible. This film was terrible. It ended up being terrible. The quality overall was terrible lukewarm to subpar terrible abysmal performances terrible cgi effects just no real atmosphere timo veren solo as a director i think he's terrible everything about the project just ended up being a complete bust but you guys let me know what you think about this new revelation from sean michael argo down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all of that in mind guys i will see you in the next video